Hi, I'm John Scholl, President and Founder of Service Quality Institute, and I want to share the Service Culture Plan with you. When we think of developing customer-centric, customer experience, customer-driven employees, most companies want a magic program. You're going to take a 24-year-old and you're going to put him in this program. Instantly, he's going to change his life and become perfect for the rest of his life. It's like becoming a medical doctor. You're going to go to one course, one class, and you're all of a sudden ready to be operating on somebody because you've graduated. So we have a three-year, four-year service culture plan, a buffet that you could use where you can keep developing people and building customer-centric employees. The concept is to introduce something fresh and new at least every four months. Put your foot in the accelerator pedal going 100 miles an hour. One of the programs we start with is our management program called Leading Empowered Teams for an Awesome Customer Experience. This program has just been updated. It's a two-day seminar and it's the purpose is so managers and leaders and executives can drive the service culture. And then I have another management program called Coaching for Success. And this is a video-based program. It's implemented in one day. It has a four-color participant book that is used by each participant. And the leader's guide is designed so that either our facilitators or yours can skillfully facilitate the program all in one day. Beautiful packaging. All of our packaging is a 10. I believe if you're gonna get people to emotionally buy into the concepts, the materials that you give them have to look awesome. Now, when I started in 1979, I wrote the world's first customer service training program. It was released in January of 1980. This is Feelings. And uh, we had a participant book. We had a uh, leader's guide. We used to print these by the thousands and everything was on audio cassette tape. You would listen to the audio and then you'd stop and you'd discuss it. Now the good news is that we have continually improved our product. So I have five versions of the Feelings Concept, which is our flagship program. It, it's the most magic program out there that instantly changes the behavior and the attitudes of the workforce to become customer service driven. The problem I had with Feelings is when done, everybody said, what's next? And years ago, I was kind of naive and I didn't know any better and I kept, kept telling people, go through feelings again. Well, you can't take an adult and put them through the same program twice. So one of the versions we have is feelings, which is geared for professionals. It has a flash drive with three videos. It has a user-friendly leader's guide so somebody can skillfully do the training. It always has a participant book that every individual gets. That's a two-color book. It's very attractive, easy to carry, easy to read, easy to handle. And then I have another version called Feelings Retail, which is for more of a retail environment, a blue-collar type of environment. Again, with the flash drive, a user-friendly leader's guide, a participant book. And then we have the only customer service program for healthcare in the world. And it's called Healthcare with Feelings. And it's beautiful. It's got a flash drive with the three videos. It's got a script for the leaders so that you can facilitate it on site. Uh, all of our programs, by the way, have a little quality technique card to reinforce the message. We have a certificate of completion, which is probably the most important thing to the participant. And then we have a performance standard for all programs that measures the behavior that we're teaching. Now, all of our programs come in many different languages. So, for example, uh, Healthcare with Feelings is in Spanish. The participant book is in Spanish, okay? And everything looks just as good in Spanish as it does in English. And then uh, I'll just, you know, here's German, for example. And again, you got the book in German. The Leader's Guide is in German. So all of our programs come in a variety of languages. Everything is in Spanish. The concept, again, is something new, fresh, new, fresh. It really doesn't matter what order you go into. The concept is the process, something fresh, new, virtually every four months. This program is on empowerment. How do I get thousands of people or hundreds of people to make very fast decisions in favor of the customer? All programs have a beautifully attractive participant book. 
All programs have a user-friendly leader's guide so that either our facilitators can facilitate it or you can facilitate it. So let's say you got 100 sites. You want at least 100 facilitators trained to facilitate this program on site so we eliminate all travel expenses. I think that empowerment is one of the key ingredients of great customer service. Then I have another program called Speed. How do we shrink the time by 90%? Amazon built a business on speed. The problem is the mindset of most employees is slow, and then we have company policies and procedures that are designed to reinforce slow. So this is a two session program. It's got two videos with it. And then we have another program called Bad, which is a cost reduction campaign. There is no real training time with this. It's a 30 day campaign, and the concept is to get every employee to look for a way to save just one US dollar a day, not a million dollars a day, just one dollar a day. There's about 250 working days in a year. So it's $250 a person. Let's say that you had a thousand employees, that's $250,000. If you went to the tallest building in your city and you took 250,000 one dollar bills and you threw them into the wind, that's what most companies do every single year. And companies like Amazon and companies that are service driven are very frugal at controlling costs. It's a major element of great customer service. The concept is new, fresh every four months. It better be different and every time it better be as good or better than the previous program. So this is another two session program called Remember Me. When's the last time you were at a restaurant? When's the last time you were at a retail store or any business were on the phone and they used your name? They don't. There's nothing more valuable than your name. And then I have another program which is called Loyal for Life. It's on service recovery. It's a one session program. It's got a leader's guide. It's got a video. It's got a beautifully attractive participant book. And the concept is when you screw up, how do you save the customer? How do you flip the customer and so in 60 seconds, they think they're dealing with the greatest company in the world. That's what Loyal for Life has. And then we have another program called Exceptional Service. It's a one session program. How do we deliver exceptional customer service? We've been filming a brand new program called Smile. Smile could be used at any point. I think the first step in customer service is to smile. And as I travel the world, I find that a lot of people don't smile. Okay? And it, it, it's going to be a one session program and it'll be released this year. And then we have another program called Handling Irate Customers. When you got a difficult customer, an irate customer, somebody that's angry, somebody that's really upset, how do you flip the situation and get them to fall in love with you? Most employees have never been trained on how to handle an irate customer it ruins their day. I find that is all you got to do is raise your voice a little bit and people start crying. They, they flip out. You don't even have to become angry. My, my favorite programs is called Moving Up. Moving Up is how do I get people to become indispensable and extraordinary. Moving Up is a two session program. It's got a beautifully a packaged participant book. If we always have a technique card, we always have a certificate, we always have a performance standard, and then a user-friendly leader's guide. So again, if you had 10 locations scattered around your country or your city, you could have 10 people skillfully facilitate this program. The purpose of moving up is to get people to believe in themselves, to want to be accomplish more, to remove those self-imposed limitations. Visualize if you had a company of 70 employees, and everybody wanted to become indispensable and extraordinary. You'd have it made. And then one of the last programs I want to talk about is the Service First Video Library. And this is a, a program where we have taken all of our products and uh, we have it on a flash drive. It's got 12 videos. Each video is about 15 minutes long, so you got about 180 minutes of video. Uh, it's got a leader's guide. Everything's on the flash drive, so there's no recurring costs. You got the discussion guide, the answer sheets, the leader's guide that you can print out. And so again, if you had 200 people, you could train all 200 people with this program. It's beautiful. So the concept again, in terms of driving a service culture, you better have something new, fresh, sharp, 
every four months. Put your foot on that accelerator pedal, never slow up. Most employees would prefer you stop. Most management people say it's too much work. But let me tell you what, if you want to own the market, you want to dominate the market, you want to be like an Amazon, you have to become customer centric. You got to have the best people, the most customer centric people. That's what I'm counting on you to do. I'm John Scholl.